1961 school bus crash just outside of Greeley today on Colorado Martini Deadstones. It was a freezing morning when the school bus carrying 36 children crossed the train tracks about five miles from Greeley, Colorado. The windows were fogged. The eastern sun and the utility poles obscured the bus driver's view. And suddenly the train hit the back of the bus as it was almost over the tracks. The bus was torn in two. Twenty children lost their lives. Sixteen were injured. So behind me is this wonderful memorial that's dedicated to the children that lost their lives in this horrible bus accident. But it was this bus accident that changed federal law about buses stopping on train tracks. The train tracks still exist and they're right behind me. And I'm told that they're still active, although they're weeded and seem very old, but they are considered still active. So today we are going to the site of a school bus crash. Um, that happened in 1961 and we're on our way to the Greeley Armory and back in the day it acted as the morgue for the 1955 uh, airplane crash that happened in Longmont and it also acted as the morgue for the school bus crash unfortunately so we're looking for that right now. So we're upstairs in the balcony, what, an area that we think used to be a bar, and our K2 is going off. But it's too steady. It, yeah. It's picking up something. Is there anything underneath? Wood table. If there's somebody making that device go off. Can you stop? Can you let it go all the way down? If you pull away from the device, it will go, it will stop flickering to show us that it's really you. Not getting any signals, right? Uh -huh. You sure there's nothing under these tables there? Is there anybody here that would like to speak with us? If so, please touch this device. We just we keep getting flashes. Is there somebody here? Maybe there's somebody up here trying to talk to us. Is there somebody here that's trying to talk to us? If you're trying to talk to us, please touch this device at the end. You can also speak into that device over there very loudly. Hopefully it'll be able to hear you. Hmm. So you're pretty hot right there for some reason. Okay, now there's no electricity in the table. There's no electricity in the table, and so if we put it here, it's not going off. Maybe the wood's haunted. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to us? If there is, just touch the end of this device. Give me your space. So you're more likely to talk than our crowd. Okay, can you stop, please? Stop at the light? Okay, thank you. So we just went to the armory. Um, the people who run the place were so very gracious to let us in. We got some very bizarre 
K2 readings. Um, but we're on our way from Greeley to LaSalle, um, and we're meeting up with uh, a par the paranormal group, uh, Kindred Spirits Society. Uh, they're our good friends. Um, and then we're going to be going out to the, the crash site. There's a memorial out there. Um, and we're doing it during the day. Uh, spirits don't sleep. Um, and since there really isn't any power out there and it's uh, kind of desolate, it's, uh, we're not going to have a lot of interference like we did in the armory. So we're driving along this dirt road and here's train tracks right here. This is probably the tracks that the train went along and we're coming up to the memorial right now. I'm going to walk down the road where um, the rest of our group is. Um, the train tracks are to my right. And they've changed the road since then because it was so dangerous. So they used, the road used to be at an angle. And so when you were crossing over in the bus, you'd have to look over your shoulder at kind of a weird angle. And you weren't able to see the train coming. Walking up to the group that I'm with. Um, they're seeing if they can find any activity in the spot that is believed to be where the accident actually happened. So the bus was driving down this road, even though the road's changed a bit since then. Um, but they crossed over, over in this area, and the train tracks are right there. The people I'm with, you can see them sitting on the tracks themselves. Um, and the train came and the school bus was on the tracks and the rest is a tragic history. So the bus had already gone over the tracks halfway. halfway. So the kids in the back, you think that exit was the original crossing side? I don't know if it was or not, I doubt it, but with the map that Brooks and I found online, uh -huh. it looks like that's about where the cross would have the crossing would have been. Just by the angle, you, it yeah. seems like you guys have it on um, point. So I'm standing in about the spot that the bus crossed over. And if you look off in the distance, you can see an oil tank and a road just on the right of it. And that is where the direction that the old road used to come down. So just to the right of that oil tank, you can see the road. And it came to where I am, and it hooked up with this road right here. So the bus came down this road, crossed these tracks, and it looked like they were. it was clear to go because it was very cold out, and their windows were all iced up, and he really couldn't see that well. So part of the bus went over the tracks and the train caught the back of the, the bus and killed the children inside. Is there anybody here that would like to talk to us that was on the school bus in 1961? If you'd like to talk to us, you can talk into this device that I'm holding, but you need to talk very, very loud and let us know that you're here or if there's something that you want to tell us. We would love to hear from you, and we would love to talk to you. You just merely need to talk into this device I'm holding. But yell as loud as you can, and I know it takes a lot of energy for you to do that, but we would really appreciate it that you showed us that you were here. So I'm sitting on the train tracks right now, and I'm trying to see if I can get a response from one of the kids. We've brought some trigger objects such as balls and M&Ms. Uh, we have the K2 meter. We're here with the Kindred Spirit Society. Um, we haven't picked up much quite yet, um, but it is very eerie to know that several children died on this site right where I'm sitting. 
Um, and I'm sitting right on the tracks. So did you get anything on the obelisk? Yes, when I was asking for a sign or something they wanted to tell me, they came up cross. That's amazing. That really is. Yeah. So then I came and we just walked it here to where we think that the bus was hit. And immediately this said, tiny and less killed. Wow. Yeah. Yeah.